Hello, what's up guys? It's me, Mohammed the Syrian, and today we'll be going over the top 5 most popular games, video games in Syria. Now, by video games, I mean any games that ha have an output of videos, so mobile games, console games, PC games, anything will be on this list. So, without further ado, let's get into the top 5 most popular games in Syria. At number 5, we have a good old game everyone likes to call Battlefield 2. Here it is most popular on PC. Uh, in Syria, you have sort of these LAN party places, okay? These are places where uh, you basically went a PC, maybe yourself, maybe with your friends, and then play with people. You can play on LAN, you can play by yourself, you can do whatever you want. And generally, these have like 18 seats or something, and 18 computers, you know. So, uh, Battlefield 2 is mostly popular on LAN games. It's popular because People are and people don't play it like it's meant to be played. They, pl they play it more like Call of Duty, honestly. They kind of rush in. They kind of so they cancel out the commander. They uh, they do crazy shit. Like some people just fight with jets and keep bombing people, and other snipers just try to snipe down the fucking jets. And just it's kind of chaotic. It's kind of nobody knows what to do. So most of the time me and my friends have the upper hand because we know how everything functions in that game We know how to take flags how to capture things and when you find uh, a, few, a, a, a few a whole bunch of people who know how to play the game white and you don't don't have these silly rules like oh No commander no squads. No, you only take these two flags and we only take these two flags those people those kinds of people are the majority that play Battlefield 2 if you kind of find uh, but if you find like a lobby with if you find a whole bunch of friends that like it the way it is, the way it, it was meant to be played, you're in for a hell of a treat. At uh, number 4, we have Clash of Clans. Yes, fucking Clash of the Clans, that, that mobile game that literally everyone forgot about ages ago. You know who still plays it? Syrians. We, uh, almost every Syrian with a phone that's bigger than their uh, four fingers. My phone is unfortunately a little bit smaller than my four fingers but anyway anyone any Syrian with a phone an Android an iOS anything that can play Clash of Clans you'll find them fucking playing Clash of Clans guess why because P Syrians here like Clash of Clans they love Clash of Clans they make clans with their team with their friends they make clans with their uh, friend like they raise attacks some, pe some people sell Clash of Clans like clans they, you know, the castles, the fortresses and all. Some people sell it. Some people make a living out of that shit. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. You know, some people build, like, a town hall level 9 or whatever it's called. And then they, like, sell it for 2,000, 3,000 Syrian pounds. Which is equivalent to about, uh, I don't know, 3, 4 dollars. And they get, like, a huge big land. And they think, oh, they made a fair trade. But, but it's not. It's a mobile game. Who has time for that shit? So, uh... Clash of Clans comes in at number 4. Crawling into the number 3 spot, we have Call of Duty. You probably all know about Call of Duty, right? Because I personally love Call of Duty, and most of these games on this list I love. Primarily, primarily number 5, number 3, and number 1. So that's the majority, that's 3 out of 5. Anyways, uh, Battle C Call of Duty is mostly popular on uh, PlayStations, but you will find people playing it on consoles too. The couple most popular versions are number one, the least popular, which is Call of Duty 2 on the PC. People play it a lot here, people make LAN parties about it and all that stuff. People still really play it and still really enjoy, enjoy it. And the, mo the second most popular form is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now people here just love the game. They, uh, they, spent, they spent a lot of time with their friends playing it. And here we have also kind of PlayStation holes that are basically the same as LAN party places. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You rent a PlayStation. However, people like to play it on split screen. And in some places, like my favorite uh, PlayStation place, Techno Game Syria. Shout out to them because, but I'm pretty sure no one watching this video ever knows Techno Game Syria. Anyways, Techno Game Syria. Uh, they have a LAN like server, so whenever people want to play Call of Duty, they just turn on the router, and people play Call of Duty on LAN. It's biblical. Everyone can have their screen, or you can have eight people playing with two screens with each other. There are four places, four PlayStation like P 
PS3s there. And it's fucking amazing. It's the favorite game modes there are Six and Stones, a gun game, and uh, Team Deathmatch. Not by any order, but mostly gun game, Six and Stones, then Team Deathmatch. And uh, it used to be uh, zombies used to be a lot more popular until people discovered, hey, you can play this actually multiplayer and kill each other. Wow, that sounds more fun. So zombies was more popular. The most po the most popular, like the only played maps were town with about 90% of people playing town, and then Kino the Totem with about 9% of people playing Kino the Totem. Then, then there was the 1% that actually knew how to play Call of Duty. And most of, most of the world records here are round 10, round 20, mostly round 23. Jesus fucking Christ, look at this kill cap. People, actually, I know a whole bunch of friends who like to play Call of Duty, and we play it a lot. I've personally made it to round 37 on Kino the Totem on, not 37, 73 on Kino the Totem. On my shitty PC, it was lagging at the end, it, it, there was a whole bunch of delay, so I had to quit. But, Call of Duty is at number 3. Coming in at number 2 is PES, Pro Evolution Soccer. Mostly, uh, or actually pretty much all of it is PES 2013, PES 2013 and a little bit on PES 2016. Now PES, if you don't know, is a soccer game, okay? People like to play that uh, soccer game, it's kind, it's kind of a good, it's a game I never personally got into. I don't really like that game. Oh. However, many people here play it, and there are the fights go over the goddamn game. It's like fights, literal fights. People just start fisting each other, and <laughs> that's out of all. Anyways, uh, if you know, most human people know how to play peace, and they claim they're the best at it. Every single one claims they're the best at it. It's uh, peace 2013 is the most popular, be, uh, being played at PlayStation 3 with uh, two people uh, battling. Or PS 2016 or the PS4, which we have one of those in Technos that I just shouted out, and uh, people like to play uh, play it as well, but not as much because it's kind of more expensive. So that's your number. What was it? Two spot. Yeah. Now coming in at number one, the undisputably unbeatable champion of video games here in Syria, the video game everyone knows, everyone plays, everyone loves, everyone. Everyone was born with it, and people will die with it still in their grave. It's fucking Counter Strike. No, no, not Counter Strike Global Offensive. Not Counter Strike Source. No, not even Counter Strike 1.6. 1. fucking 3. Do you realize how much? Like, this kind of hurts my head when I think about it because in in my in another local like land network place, I tried to install like. CS Source and try to get people more into it, you know, kind of adapt with the ages. That was like a couple of years ago. People hated CS Source. People despised it. People wanted CS 1.3. CS 1.3 is literally the most popular game in, here in Syria. It's literally the most played game in Syria. Literally almost every single person knows it. In this country, about, I don't know, fucking 24 million people play Counter Strike. And no, no, no not fist fights go over this game, okay? Fucking gunfights sometimes. Like there's this local place, which people were sh the person just shot another person in it. There was there was a whole bunch of crazy shit going on. Uh, I almost got in, into one of those fights with my friends like long time ago. It's like, but I don't mention it anymore. It's uh, they they make up these stupid rules. Like the most two played maps are second ball assault, and then at the first place it's Italy. And people just love Italy. In Italy, the uh, terrorists just stay in the house and the surrounding area, and counter, counter like counter terrorists must attack them, which is like good and you know? all. And then they have these stupid rules like no sort of guns, like no B42, which if you know it's like the commando, the, you know the scoped in version of the terrorists. You, uh, most most people only play like. The op, the uh, it was the arm back then. It was the Magnum, uh, Arctic Warfare. People just obsess over this game, and if you come to any LAN place party, you'll find that they have Counter Strike, and they don't only have it. People are playing it from the uh, from where they open the fucking place until they they exit it. It's the most played game here in Syria of all time. 
that's your number one spot. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. I'm not sure why I'm telling you to leave a like. If you don't, didn't enjoy this video, however, just fucking dislike it. You have the power. You have the power of the people. The people if the people have spoken and the people disliked it. I, I don't know what I'll do with my life anymore. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.